just logging on, go ahead and pin Eric's screen. He's gonna lead us through the workout today. Let's start with butt kickers today. Butt kicks, alternating sides, walk at the start. While you're doing that, go ahead and roll the wrists out both directions. No particular order there, just knocking them both out. Pull the knee to the chest, alternating sides. And we're going to be doing those time circuits like we did with Jordan on Wednesday. That worked really well. Everybody had a good pace, got to go at your own pace. So we'll stick with that for today. Touch the toes, sit into a squat. Touch the toes, sit into a squat. And today, hold that squat position one, two, three, and then come up. Just so we can sit into the squat, range of motion. Touch at the toes, sit into the squat, hold it. One, two, three, and then back up, reset. Nice and tall after each one. Get about three or four more here. So touch the toes to start. Get in for the inside of the ankle, and sit into the squat. Come on up, two more. Touch, hold. Last one. Touch. Good. Facing me. Nice wide base. Hip circles going clockwise. Get about five clockwise. Then we're going to go the opposite direction. Start to feel your breathing settle in. And opposite direction. Go ahead. Can you hear me okay, Jordan? Yeah. Yeah, we're good, sorry, I muted myself. Up nice and tall, hip circles going backwards. I'm actually gonna alternate it, so marching style. So open the hip on one side, as high with the knee as what's comfortable. Alternating sides, we're gonna end up getting about eight on each side here. One more on each side. Walking hinge stretch. So walking or stepping with the left. I'm gonna go scoops today. So both arms, both hands, just scooping towards the toe. Keeping the foot flex. Should feel the tension building in the hamstring. Uh-oh. I think we lost you just a little bit, but we're good now. My back? Yeah, you're back. <sighs> Yeah, sorry, I just knocked down 20 bur burpees while it was paused. <laughs> <laughs> Couple more on each side. All right, back to nice wide base facing me. One moment here, guys, sorry. It's on Jordan's screen. There we go. Nice wide base, reach up towards the ceiling. And we're just gonna reach, reach, reach as far as you can up towards the ceiling. Deep breath and circle it out to the pockets. Go again, reaching up, drawing the shoulders down and back. So not shrugged up by our ears, but reach and feel the ends of your fingertips extending as far as you can. Deep breath and circle it. Two more like that. Deep breath in, reach. And out to the side. Last one. Good. Staying in this stance, I'm gonna lunge to the right, or you can hinge so you can go more of a less knee bend and hips go back into a hinge and then switch over. So I'm staying low, go on the other side. Follow me on the next one. Lunge to the right, stay low, come up out of that lunge. Back to the right, stay low, glide across to the other side and up. One more just like that, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Glide across and up. Now go the other way. So I'm going to go to the left in the lunge. Glide across, stay nice and low, feel the hips opening up and return. Always resetting, nice and tall. Lunge, glide across, push off. And you can do this in the lunge like I'm doing or more of a hinge variation that's moved like this. Hinge, transfer weight, reset. Last one. Hinge, transfer your weight, reset. Arm circles going forward. A little bit bigger and based. Very good. Opposite way going backwards. 
few circles. A little bit bigger. And biggest. Go across the chest. Chain breakers. Go ahead. All right, quick feet with me, just in place. Pumping the arms, about 10 seconds. Get the heart rate up. And break, good. Shake it out, hop it out. Jumping jacks, and we'll get started in just a moment here. Ready, begin. About 15. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. Okay, guys, what we have for today, four circuits, A, B, C, and D. Just two exercises in each, so we're just going to do an upper and a lower, upper and lower, back and forth for six minutes on the clock at your own pace. Again, use me as more of a demo. You can use me as a pacer. Don't necessarily have to, though. Those two exercises, six minutes, we'll do some conditioning in between, save core for the end. First exercise, looking in here, stepping on it with just one foot. This is band variation. You could do it with handles. I don't have handles on this band, but you're going to up, forward, down, and then back. Like so. So I'm just going arching up and over, shoulder high, perfectly fine from the side. It's side raise, forward, down, and then back. So you're going to do eight of each of those, just up and over T raises. So you can do that with lighter dumbbells, maybe fives or tens. Second exercise is going to be a sumo squat to a squat to pulses. Five, five, and five. So sumo squat, nice wide base for five. After five, you can go goblet hold regular squat for five. After five there, just pulse it out for five. If you're using bands, have it loaded on just one side for the sumo. See how the band's only on one side? Five squats, then you'll step on the inside. Five regular squats, and then five pulses to finish. Next time you come around to it, just unilateral load or one side on the other side. And I'll remind you once we get there. Just those two, six minutes on the clock. Okay, starting with our T raises. So that's out, forward, and then reverse for eight, okay? So go ahead and grab your bands, grab your dumbbells. Don't need very high resistance on the bands for the raises here. Going six minutes on the clock, you guys all set? All right guys, six minutes in three, two, one, and go. So one foot on the band, side to forward, and then back up, forward to side, side to forward, Forward to side, eight total times. Once you guys are done with eight, then we're gonna set up with our squat series here. Just like that. Good work. So Five keeping perfect. track of your own reps. Eight on Good the work, guys. Not arching your back as you raise. Yep, and then as soon as you're done with eight, we're gonna start off with our squats. So five sumo five regular stands, and then five pulses. Again, you could do, you could do these with, uh, you could hinge back too if it's too much on the knees. And then if you're doing that band variation with the sumo squat, make sure uh, that band is not pulling your hips to that side. Keep, that, uh, keep your core engaged, hips stay level. Get five sumo, five regular, and then five pulses. Awesome work, guys. Once you guys are done with all five uh, on the squat series, then we're going to go back to our T raises. Good work, good work. All right, so with the T raises, you're going to start off with the side and then go to the forward and then go back up forward and then back to the side. Yep, so you're going to start where you ended. You're going to start where you ended. So eight total times. These two exercises, as many rounds as you can. Great work, guys. Awesome job. Good pace. Not arching the back with those raises. And then once you guys are done with those raises, back to our squat series or hinge. So five sumo, five regular stance, five pulses. Good work, guys. Most, Good work. Just keeping the band on one foot and you'll switch each set and just facing forward the entire time. Good form across the board. That's it, guys. Nice job. 
<laughs> That's it, guys. Good work. Arms as straight as you can with those T raises. Even when you're raising out to the side, not necessarily going straight out to the side. We talked about just slight angle forward and going back the same way you came. And just like Eric mentioned, you can go at his own, you could, you can go at his pace. You could go slower than him, faster than him, going at your own pace, just as many rounds as you can, almost at our halfway mark here. Good work, guys. Even though we're seeing how many rounds we can get, form is the most important. So on your squats, under control against the band. <clears throat> Good work. Everybody has solid form here. I'm going to go back to bed. <laughs> <Just joking>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, driving through the heels whether you're doing the squats or the deadlifts yep and on the sumo squat if you're using the bands switching that plant foot every time so if the uh, unilateral stance was on the right this time go on the left and don't let that band pull your hips Keep that core engaged the whole time. Just over two minutes to go, guys. Just over two minutes, as many rounds as you can. And with those squats and deadlifts, keep those eyes straight ahead. Again, hips level on that sumo. Don't let that band pull your hips. Good work, guys. Good work. Then after, uh, we just have like a minute and 30 left, then we're going to go right into conditioning. So no break just yet. Eric will run us through conditioning. That's it, guys. Nice job. Do a nice start here. Kind of settle into the circuit now. Heart rate should be elevated. Get an idea of where you want your pace to be for each circuit. We've got this one and then B, C, and D, so three more. <sighs> Last minute here, guys. Last minute. Try to get one or two more rounds in each exercise. Good work, everybody. Nice job, nice job. All right, strong finish. Squeeze one more set in if you can. Squeeze one more set in. Just over 30 seconds to go. Good work, good pace. All right, last 15 seconds, last 15 seconds. Finish all the reps in your current set, and then you guys can look in at Eric's screen. He will run us through conditioning. Two exercises, two rounds. Two exercises, two rounds. All right. Let me know when, Jordan. You are good to go. You are good to go. All right, guys. Just two exercises. First one, full body extensions. Reach in to the shins, floor, ankles, heels as a landmark, and up towards the ceiling for speed for 10. Excuse me, 12, 12. After 12 on the full body extensions, going shuffle side to side. About two shuffles if you have the space. If not, you can always go one. Touching at the floor, also 12 total. So six on each side. Magic number is 12. 12 full body extensions, 12 total shuffles, six on each side. We'll run through that twice and grab a drink. Go ahead. Right into the... All right, guys. Button. Yep. At your own pace. So 12 and 12. Hinging back. Arching the back as you reach to the ceiling. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Good work, good work, good work. That's it, hinging back. You can explode off to your toes if you need to, like a mini jump. And then side-to-side uh, -side shuffle, six each side, 12 total. You don't necessarily have to touch the floor. You could just do the shuffles as well. Again, if you don't have the space, you could just go one stride to the left, one stride to the right. Two rounds here, guys. Two rounds and then water when you're done. Okay, six each side on the shuffles and then back to the body extensions. Keeping your eyes 
on one focal point. Don't round the back as you reach down. Don't arch the back as you reach up. Keep that core engaged the whole time, just like how we do our kettlebell swings. Popping up through the hips, squeeze the glutes at the top. Good work, guys. So 12 of those body extensions, six each side on those shuffles, and then get a drink whenever you are done with your two rounds. Great work, everybody. Awesome job, awesome job. Two times through, water when you are done. Awesome, awesome. Punch out that first round. Good work, people. Good work. Quick drink. Eric will run us through the second circuit. Nicely done. Just one more second, Eric. Yep, absolutely. All right, you're good to go. All right. Circuit B, guys, looking in here. First exercise, push-ups or dive bombers. Dive bombers, a little more shoulder-oriented. Dipping underneath the fence. I like to go there, crawl position or knees bent. Dip underneath, chest up at the end, then I'm going to go in reverse. Or you could always scale it back by just resetting from that end position. Six reps regardless. So if you want to do three dive bombers, three push ups, either way it's six. Once you're done with your six reps, you can hold it at the top, just count to five. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, all the way to five. If you want to make that tougher, you could stay low on that hold. But just five second hold there. Second exercise, whether you have bands, or dumbbells, it's gonna be single leg deadlift. I have a split stance like so, band is under the front foot, rack position, hips go back, slight bend of the knee, fire up, five on each side. Excuse me, six on each side. That way, keep it consistent with our six reps for the dive bombers and push-ups. If you have dumbbells, be at your side, six, then you'll switch, six. Magic number six, push-ups or dive bombers, and then single leg deadlift. We get going in about five seconds here, so go ahead and get Bands and single leg deadlift dumbbells ready. Of course, you could go up on a bench step. If you have a stair in your basement or anything like that, you put your hands elevated on the step to scale back the push-up. All right, guys, starting with our push-up. So dive bombers or regular push-ups. Here we go. Get set and go. So six of the push-ups, and then don't forget that five-second hold. Good work, guys. Yep, hips go back to start. Pretend like you're going under the fence and then back to how you started. Then don't forget that five second. You could do that five seconds with the arms extended or in that low position a little bit harder, just like Eric is doing. And then after that, we have our single leg deadlifts. Okay, single leg deadlifts. If you only have one dumbbell, you're gonna hold the dumbbell on the uh, leg that is back. Good. Yet, if the staggered a stance dumbbell or staggered stance variation is too uh, is too complicated, it, I know it's hard to get that mind muscle connection on that loading hamstring. You can do like the regular single leg deadlifts, how we did it at the gym, like elevating that back foot. That's it. Six on each side. Really concentrating on that front hamstring. Drive up through your heels. Squeeze the glute at the top. Hamstring on the way back, squeeze the glute at the top, not arching your back as you go up. Keep your eyes on a focal point. So six each side, and then back to our push-ups for six. That's it, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Good work. Good pace. Everybody's around the same pace here. Yep, six push-ups, five-second hold. Again, you could do that hold at the top or hold at the bottom in that low position a little bit harder. Then if those push-ups ever bother the shoulder, shoulders at all, scale it back. You could have your hands elevated. You can drop to the knees for this one too with the regular push-ups. That's it. So six of those push-ups, five second hold, and then six each side on those single leg deadlifts. Good work, good work. Thinking about keeping tension in the band and still pushing hips back. I'm gripping the floor with my front foot, consciously engaging the side that has the band under it that we're working. 
Yep, and some people uh, switch to the standard single leg deadlifts with oh. elevating the back foot too. That's totally fine. Yep, just like Eric is doing, you can do that as well. But really, whatever variation you use, make sure you're concentrating on that front hamstring. Front hamstring glued at the top. We're just about at our halfway mark, guys. Good work, good work. Again, if you're, if you're doing dive bombers right now, if you need to scale it back and switch to regular push-ups, you have that option to do so. You could alternate in between. That's it, guys. Nice job. Good work, good work. With the deadlifts, drive up through that front heel. Again, squeezing the glute at the top. Really concentrating on that front hamstring. Eyes straight ahead. Shoulder blades back, not rounding. Good work, guys. Nice job, nice job. <clears throat> Still have people doing dive bomber push-ups. Very impressive. Last two minutes of work here, guys. Last two minutes. Again, as many rounds as you can with good form. That's it, guys. Nice job. Nice job. <clears throat> Just over a minute to go, guys. Just over a minute to go. So try to squeeze in two rounds if you can with good, solid form. And not forgetting that five second hold at the end of our push ups. We're getting a bunch of rounds in, guys. Good work. Good work, guys. Nice job. Nice job. And then after this uh, set, just under a minute to go, back to our conditioning exercises. Same two exercises for conditioning, two rounds. All right, last 20 seconds here, guys, last 20 seconds. Go ahead, finish the set you are on, finish the reps that you are on, and then you could head to conditioning at your own pace. It's going to be those two exercises, body extensions for 12, side to side shuffles for six. All right, go ahead, finish your set, and then head to conditioning. Finish your set, head to conditioning at your own pace. Again, two rounds. You need to scale it back to one round, that's totally fine, but 12 body extensions, six side shuffles. Hips go back on those extensions, squeeze the glutes at the top. Get not rounding as you reach down, not arching as you reach up, good work. And then six on each side on those side shuffles, very good. Again, you don't necessarily have to touch the floor. Staying low if you can on those shuffles in an athletic position. And knock out two rounds, guys, and then go ahead, get some water. Two rounds, get a drink. That's it, guys. Nice job, nice job. Second time through conditioning, so really pushing the pace here, getting that heart rate up. That's it, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Yep, two shuffles if you can. If you don't have enough space, one shuffle is perfect. Good work, guys. Nice job. Nice job. So after these two rounds, get a drink, and then Eric will run us through our next circuit. Done. Just 
one more second here. Yep, absolutely. All right, you're good to go. All right. Go ahead, grab your drink, look in for circuit C. Band variation first, actually gonna be seated. Get tension from keeping legs straight, using your feet. I'm gonna grab opposites. See, I don't have handles, you don't need them, but you could use handles. I'm gonna go two parts here first. Reverse fly, pull it apart for 10. And then after 10 on the reverse fly, elbows in one spot, curl. So use the tension of the band to curl up towards the eyebrows. Elbows are in one spot the whole time. Magic number is 10 there. So 10 pull aparts, 10 curls. Of course, if you have dumbbells, something lighter, go split stance, reverse fly, 10. Stand up nice and tall, 10 curls. Second exercise is gonna be step and lunge going to the side, excuse me, squat. So feet are together, I'm gonna step, squat or hinge, back together, go to the other side. Squat or hinge together. This is a hinge variation, hips go back, fire up, feet together, go to the other side. So you're really staying within two steps, length, side to side, just one, go, one, go, 10 total there. So magic number is 10. So five on each side, essentially. All right, if you have weights, you can go racked or goblets and hold or out to the side either way. All right, so starting on that two-parter, pull apart or reverse fly for 10 to curl for 10. All right, guys, doing really well here. Don't need as much resistance on the reverse fly as you would for a row. All right, circuit starts in three, two, one and go. So you're gonna be seated if you have bands, if you have dumbbells, just gonna be on a staggered stance. Yep, so 10 of those reverse flies. Slight bend is okay, but trying to keep your arms fairly straight. And then after 10, keeping your elbows high. So as you can see, Eric's elbows are not moving. So elbows in place and then curling. If you're using dumbbells, yep, just stand tall. Knock out 10 reps. Good work, good work, awesome job. So 10 and 10, and then we're going to switch to our side-to-side -side squat or deadlifts. Yep, so stand up nice and tall. Making sure you set your feet first. Yep, so it's one step to the right, set the feet, and then squat straight down or deadlift. Again, we're not favoring one side. Yep, planting both feet into the ground and then driving up through both heels whether it's the squat or the deadlift. Yep, if you have a dumbbell, it's just gonna be a goblet hold. Good work, guys. So side to side, set your feet. Hips straight, good. Yep, so 10 total, five on each side. And then you're gonna go back to the floor if you have bands or uh, if you have dumbbells, it's just going to be 10 of the raises, 10 of the curls, 10 and 10. That's it guys, nice job. And then remember with those bicep curls, keeping those elbows in place, whether you're standing or you're seated. Nice job guys. Awesome. Good job, good job. That's it. <clears throat> good work. And then yep, side to side deadlift or squat, five on each side. There you go guys, there you go. Good pace here. Just hit our two minute mark. Nice job. <clears throat> then with, uh, if you're doing those seated um, reverse flies, making sure you're not arching the back. Don't need a ton of resistance here. So really concentrating in the back of your shoulder blades. <clears throat> and what I'm doing nice guys, is I have a narrower base for the reverse fly so I have less tension two one and then when I go to the curl I readjust go nice and wide with the feet make it a little tougher for the curls <laughs> good call that's it guys nice job we are now at our halfway mark now we got a feel for the set. You guys can go ahead and push the pace if you can. <clears throat> and then with those seated uh, reverse flies, trying to keep that tall posture, still shoulder blades back. Keep that lower back steady. Try not to arch the back at all. 
Only thing moving should be those arms on those flies. Good work. And then elbows nice and high for the curls. Great work, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Making sure your feet are set before you go down for the deadlift or the squat. So step, step, set the feet, squat. Set the feet, squat. Good work. Nice job. Good pace. Good pace across the board here at our two minute mark. Nice job. Again, with the reverse flies compared to the bicep curls, you're going to need a little bit more tension. So just like Eric said, you can have your feet a little bit wider for the bicep curls. Good work, guys. Nice job keeping that good form. Yeah, see, guys. Again, Eric is just, you could just use Eric as like the pacer. You don't have to go at his pace. Go slower than him, faster than him. And just like our circuits in the gym, if you ever need to take a quick break and then come back at it, you can do so. Just over a minute to go, guys. Just over a minute to go. So try to squeeze in one or two rounds. That's it, guys. Nice job. Nice job. Got some overachievers, people using uh, glute loops with the steps and dumbbells. Love it. <laughs> That's it, guys. Nice job. Good pace, good form, everyone. Last 30 seconds here, last 30 seconds. Finish strong. Try to complete one more exercise if you can. Awesome work, guys. Just over 10 seconds. Go ahead, finish the set you are on, finish the set you are on, and then we're gonna go ahead to conditioning. Same two exercises. One to two rounds, two exercises, two rounds, 12 body extensions, six shuffles on each side, and then you can start whenever you are ready. All right, body extensions, eyes, again, focused on a focal point. Hips go back, squeeze the glutes at the top, not arching the back as you stand up, not rounding the back as you reach down. Yep, some people are exploding up to their toes, perfectly fine. Taking it to the next level here, that's it. Good pace. And then side to side shuffle, six each side. Again, magic number is 12. 12 body extensions. And then 12 total shuffles, six on each side, two rounds. And then we have one more circuit after this, guys. Way to keep up the intensity. Way to keep up the pace. That's it, guys. Nice job. Nice job. There you go, guys. Good work. Good work. Controlling your breathing with the conditioning. <clears throat> twelve and twelve. Some people switch to forward and back runs with the, uh, instead of the side to side shuffles, perfectly fine. Good modification. All right, two rounds, water when you are done. Good work, good work. All right, go ahead, Eric. All right. All right, guys, looking in last circuit. You got lawnmower rows. Whether you do one band or two, you're gonna lean away from it, pull on an angle, make sure you have plenty of tension. So you might need to choke up on the band a little bit. You can use both handles, one handle. Notice how I'm going to elbow tight to the side at the top. 
facing forward the whole time. Eight, then you'll actually switch. Eight on the other side with the dumbbell. It's right here, toes facing forward. Pinch the elbow at the top. So eight on each side. Second and final exercise, show dumbbell first. Call this a pick up and put down deadlift. So I'm gonna do all my right arm first. Set in your feet for your deadlift. You're gonna reach down, pick it up, put it down. Back to our starting position, that's one. You're gonna do five with the right, five with the left. So pick it up, crisp hip snap coming up, put it down. Pick up, put down, that's three. You'll do five, then switch sides. With the bands, you can use both handles and it'll be more of a suitcase or you can even go on the inside like so with just one arm. You'll do 10 on the right, 10 on the left. So you end up doing 10 deadlifts on both sides. Good moderate pace on that one, so lighter resistance. Makes sense. Want lighter weight, it's our last circuit. We're gonna go at a moderate pace, still under control, just touch up the weight a little bit and the band go a little bit lighter. Okay, so we're gonna start on the lawnmower row for eight, eight on each side. All right guys, lawnmower row, six minutes, ready? And go. So eight on each side. If you're using hand or if you're using bands, you could have on one handle. Again, closer you step to the band, harder it's going to be. Yep. And if you are using a band, you should have that band on that opposite foot of the working arm. So facing forward the whole time. Nice and wide stance, pushing away from that off leg. Good work. Elbow tight to the rib cage. So pulling across your body. Elbow tight to the rib cage. Again, it's gonna be eight on each side. And then once you guys are done, we're gonna to go to that deadlift, that pickup deadlift. But if you can't go all the way to the floor, that's totally fine. I want to have your guys' shoulder blades back, but we're gonna go all one arm for five and then switching to the other arm for five. If you're not setting it down at all, so you don't have to go all the way to the floor perfectly fine, that'll be just a single arm deadlift like so, and it's gonna be 10 on the right, 10 on the left. So I'm only using 15 or 20 pounds, focusing on the form. Or if you are going all the way to the floor, pick it up, put it down, five. Yep, and if you are using bands, just the same exact thing. Five on one arm, five on the other arm. And then you could re you really need a ton of tension if you are using bands. So you can make that loop just like Eric has. Five one side, quick transition, five on the other side. And if you can't go all the way down to the floor, that's totally fine, but keeping that back flat, shoulder blades back, if you feel that in the lower back at all, you could just wave me down and then we could, I'll give you guys another variation. Yep, if you are using a band, it's uh, similar to those suitcase deadlifts that we do at the gym. Not letting that band pull your hip, keeping those hips level, core engaged, eyes straight ahead. And then whenever you're done with those deadlifts, back to the lawnmower rows, eight on each side, eight on each side. And if you're on the lawnmower rows and looking at your screen, watch my elbow, how it kind of disappears at my side. Normal row and then tuck it. Should feel upper back engaging a little differently, back of the shoulder. Eight reps then switch. And I'm actually going band on the outside of the, my foot. So I step on it, handles are on the outside. Good work guys. And I know I say this all the time with deadlifts, but very important, especially with this variation, make sure you feel your hamstrings working as you reach down. Very important that you're using your hamstrings, not your lower back. And then crisp hip snap on the way up, squeezing the glutes at that top position. Just reach our halfway mark, guys. We only have one round of conditioning after this, just one round of conditioning after this, and then we'll finish up with a little core. Great work, everybody. Again, with the, yep, so with the deadlifts, if you're using the bands, maybe a narrower stance would help just to feel that a little bit more targeting the hamstrings. But hips level, almost similar to like a suitcase deadlift. And you could have the bands on the outside or on the inside, just like Eric does. So five deadlifts on each side, eight lawnmower rows on each side. 
Good work, guys. Good work. Form is solid. Pace is still high. That's it, guys. Nice job. Then with those lawnmower rows, you want that wide stance. Again, closer you step to the handles, more tension, more harder it's gonna be. Just under two minutes to go, guys. Almost there. That's it, guys. Nice job, nice job. Yep, if you're using dumbbells just like Eric does, so it's going to be like ankle to hip pulling across your body. And if you feel, if anybody feels the deadlifts on the lower back, you could wave me down and we could do like a different variation, but making sure you're uh, squeezing the glutes at the top, not rounding on the way down, focusing on the hamstrings. Under a minute to go, guys, under a minute to go. Again, only one round of conditioning after this. Only one round and then we'll finish with core. Last 30 seconds, guys, last 30 seconds. Try to squeeze in one more set, half a set, whatever you guys can get uh, knocked out here. Awesome job, awesome job. Last 15, finish your set. Finish all the reps in your set, your current set. And then you can go ahead and switch to conditioning. Only one round through, one time through each exercise, and then we'll finish up with some core. Yep, you can go ahead and get started whenever you're ready. 12 body extensions, six shuffles on each side. One round, one round, and then looking through Eric's screen, he's going to lead us through core. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Keeping that good form, especially at the end here. That's it, guys. Six on each side, side to side shuffles, 12 body extensions, only one time through. Great work. Whenever you guys are done, shake out the arms, shake out the legs. Then we're going to look in through Eric's screen. And Eric, you are good to go, sir. All right. Three exercises, guys. We're going to do three rounds. First one, side plank position. You can go one foot forward, one foot back like I have here, or both knees down. But it's going to be a reach through, reach up. Reach through, reach up, changing the angle a little bit, but keeping hips high the entire time. Ten, then face the other way and get ten. Second exercise will be V-ups, but not so much like we did them the other day. We're gonna to stick to the variation where our feet, our legs stay straight, feet are up. Just a short little lift off with our shoulders reaching up towards the toes. Also 10 reps, so 10 on the uh, reach through, reach up, 10 on the V-ups, and then finish with a 25 second plank. Count it out on your own, looking through the hands, elbows under the shoulders, one, two, all the way to 25. We're gonna run through that three times at your own pace. Start wherever you'd like between the uh, V-ups and the reach-throughs, but finish with the plank on each round. Go ahead. Go ahead. And you could, again, All right, guys. or you can go at your own pace. Get going at your own pace. Side plank with the reach-throughs. Again, you could go leg straight. You could go knee stacked. In between would be bottom knee down, other leg, uh, top leg elevated, but it's going to be 10 each side, 10 each side. Yep, reaching as far in as you can. Then eyes following that hand. Good. As it reaches to the ceiling, 10 each side. Good work. Keeping that elbow right under your shoulder, guys. Then right after that, we have V-ups for 10. But feet stay in place. You're just getting those shoulder blades off the ground. Reaching for those toes for 10. Keep your chin tucked. Exhale on each reach. And then the plank hold, 25 seconds. 25 seconds at your own pace. At your own count, good work. 
knock out three rounds and then we are done guys good work today everybody's form was solid spot on pace was solid too high intensity Yep, once you guys are done with those 25 seconds, back to the side plank with the reach throughs. If that bothers the elbow at all, you can do the side plank with a hip dip. Or sorry, if it bothers the shoulder at all. Good work, nice job. Again, leg straight is gonna be that hardest variation. You could go knee stacked and bent or in between, dropping that bottom knee, elevating the top knee. 10 each side. Ten toe touches. And 25 second plank three times through. Good work, everyone. And a lot of people are on their last round. Hope you guys are excited for June 1st, as I am. It's been a long time. All right, last round for most people. Strong finish here again, 10 each side, 10 V-ups or toe touches, and then 25 second plank, and we are done, guys. We have people doing four rounds. Eric, I think we have some overachievers. I think people are. <laughs> I think people are done, but they're just keep. They just feel keep free going. to do my fourth round. Yeah, you can feel feel free to do the fourth round. We're gonna end the meeting, but you guys can still keep going. <clears throat> awesome job, Melissa. Oh, speaking of. Our uh, trivia champ last night. Yeah, we <laughs> regained our crown. Yeah. Back. There you go. Yeah. Awesome job. Very Jen. exciting. <sighs> All right, I'll see you guys later. I gotta get to work. Take care. Right. Have a good one. Nice job, guys. Have a good one. Yeah. Bye. See you guys all June first. <laughs>